Hi, welcome to PharmaCAD. Today we will discuss about pharmacy as a career option. So what exactly is pharmacy? In a simple language, it is a science of dealing with drugs for diagnosis, treatment and cure of any disease to any individual or animal. So the definition is very simple and very clear. All we are doing is dealing with drugs. Okay, but legally, of course. So we will see what are the different ways of doing this as we proceed further. Usually, many students consider pharmacy as a secondary career option. We have scored less in NEET and now we have no other alternative. So let us consider pharmacy. Let me tell you guys, many students feel that uh, pharmacy has lack of scope and lack of opportunities. Let me put it very clear. It is not about the lack of scope or lack of opportunities. It is about the lack of awareness. Most people do not know what kind of opportunities are available in the pharmaceutical industry. And that is why it is considered as a secondary career option. So to all the students who are now thinking of pharmacy after scoring less in NEET, let me tell you guys, it's absolutely fine and there is nothing much to worry about. When you enter the pharmaceutical industry, you will come to know how big this industry is and there's a lot to achieve in this industry. So be rest assured you will be enjoying if you are giving your 100%. Okay. Let us talk about the current pharma market. Let us see what the value of this Indian pharma market is. As you can see, it is 1,51,809 crores as per the report of October 2020. Okay, so by no means can we say that the Indian pharma market does not have enough money or Indian pharma market does not have enough opportunities. It is there in front of you. There are opportunities. There is good money. It is just about the student to grab the opportunity at the right place at the right time. Talking about the major subjects in pharmacy, here we have listed some of the top subjects which are of the most uh, weightage pharmacognosy it is about extracting the drugs from naturally occurring resources like plants or animals okay then we also have pharmaceutical chemistry it's synthesizing the drug inside a laboratory so after you extract the drug from naturally occurring resources or you synthesize the drug inside a laboratory you try that on humans and animals which comes under clinical trials, which is taken care of by pharmacology as one of the major subjects. Once the drug is giving us the desired action, then pharmaceutics comes into picture where we decide how this drug will enter into the human body or the animal body, whether it will be a tablet, a capsule, an injection or a patch or whatever it could be that is into pharmaceutics. All the dosage forms that we make should be of the desired quality and that is decided by pharmaceutical analysis. So these are the five major subjects which are there in pharmacy. Students can consider one of these subjects as their master's subject after the B pharmacy. Okay, there are many other allied subjects as well. But right now we have focused only on the five major subjects. What are the different types of courses that are available for a student who wants to enter pharmacy after the 12th grade? After the 12th standard science exams, if you want to enter into the pharmaceutical industry, what are the different courses? So after 12th standard, we have a D pharmacy, which is diploma in pharmacy. It's a two year course. We have farm D, which is pharma doctorate. It's a six year course. And we have B Pharmacy, which is Bachelor's of Pharmacy, which is a four year course. Now, B Pharmacy is the most preferred course for pharmacy after 12th standard. OK, we will discuss about each course in detail in the following slides. The first course we have is Diploma in Pharmacy. The eligibility for Diploma is just your HSE score, right? It's just your HSE score. That is your board exam score. The duration of the course is two years. If you consider higher education as an option after diploma in pharmacy, you get a lateral entry in the second year of B pharmacy. So usually diploma is taken by students who have scored less in CET and NEET both. 
but they do not want to spend one year repeating all the entrance exams. So they start with diploma in pharmacy and then after they finish their diploma, they enter into B pharmacy. Also diploma in pharmacy is taken by students who wish to start their own retail or wholesale pharmacy practice because after D pharmacy, you are eligible for a pharmacist license as well. So this is about the diploma in pharmacy course. When I talk about PharmD or a pharma doctorate, there are many students who always aspire to have a doctor title in front of their names. So PharmD can help you with that if you have not scored well in your need to enter into a direct MBBS or some other medical course. So the eligibility for PharmD is your HSE score and there are certain private entrance exams of different colleges who offer these courses. The duration of this course is six years and the speciality is that you get to work directly in hospitals along with the doctors for patient counseling and treatments. So you are absolutely and directly associated with doctors and patients at the same time. It has it is a very application based course, uh, but the jobs in India are relatively less for PharmD students, which are related to patient counseling. So usually the PharmD students uh, find it difficult at this point in time to find a job which is related to their academic curriculum. It is a less explored field so far, but there could be opportunities in the future related to patient counseling for PharmD students as well. Let's talk about the most common pharmacy course that maximum students enter into and that is B pharmacy. The eligibility is your HSE score. You should have minimum of 45% in your PCB or your PCM. And then there are different entrance exams in different states. In Maharashtra, we have the MHCET. Okay. It's a four year course with eight semesters. After B pharmacy, higher education, you can consider M farm, you can consider MBA, you can also consider a farm D once again. You can also consider going abroad for one to two years. We will be discussing a little more about these things in the following slides. As I already said, it is the most preferred pharmacy course by students in India and it provides a broader spectrum for careers in pharmacy compared to diploma in pharmacy or a PharmD. Okay. The approximate fees for B pharmacy courses in government colleges is somewhere around 25 to 30,000 rupees a year. Whereas in private colleges, it's somewhere around 1 to 1.5 lakhs a year. There are some colleges which go beyond 1.5 lakhs. There are some colleges which are less than 1 lakh. The average number of seats is 60. Uh, there are a lot of private colleges who have now applied for 100 seats and have gotten an approval and they are operating with 100 seats. Uh, the cutoff in general for an open category student, a score above 90 percentile would be good enough to get admission in one of the private institutes. If we talk about government institutes, uh, a score around 95 or 96 percentile and above will be suitable for somebody to get an admission in government colleges. Okay, but anything about 90 percentile, uh, you can be sure that you will get admission in one of the colleges without any additional charges. And uh, obviously you can have a score in PCM or PCB. What are the, which are the government colleges in Mumbai? So we have uh, Institute of Chemical Technology, which is in Matunga, one of the best colleges in the country. We also have Bombay College of Pharmacy, again, one of the top colleges in the country. Uh, we also have principal KM Kundani College which is one of the best colleges around uh, in Mumbai as well. It's a government college. Then we also have SNDT's Siyusha College of Pharmacy, a good college once again for girls. Yeah, just for your information, this is only a girls college. Okay, so these are certain government colleges in Mumbai and you can score somewhere around 98, 99 percentile in your CET to try in one of these colleges. Okay, uh, one college that it is not in Mumbai, I would like to talk about this information might not be useful for students who have already completed a 12th standard or who have already given their CET, uh, but 
for students who are in 12th standard or 11th standard and are going to give CET in the next years. There is Bits Pilani. It's a private college. It is in Rajasthan. And uh, the entrance exam for Bits Pilani is Bitsat. Okay. Uh, so if you have not heard of this, you can consider giving this entrance exam as well. Entering into Bits Pilani for your B Pharmacy course would be one of the best things again. Uh, so yeah, if you have not given your CET or if you are giving your CET in the next upcoming years, I think this information could be useful to you guys. The private colleges in and around Mumbai, uh, we have uh, BNCP which is in Ville Parle, we have VES which is in Chambur, then we have NMIMS, MAT, SVBCP which is in Dombivali, St. John's which is in Palghar, Bharti Vidyapit which is in Belapur. We also have a lot of colleges around Mumbai as well. Konkan Gyanpeet which is in Karzat, then Sterling Institute which is in Nerul Navi Mumbai, Oriental College of Pharmacy, Viva College of Pharmacy, this college is called as Kalsekar College of Pharmacy, Gelot Institute, Dr. Hiranandani, HK College, St. Wilfred, Vispute, Ideal Institute of Pharmacy, DY Patel as well and Ideal College of Pharmacy and Research. Just understand that the sequence of writing this college is random. There is no specific importance to any college here. So you can identify the rank of the college from the NIRF website. You can type on Google NIRF 2020 for pharmacy colleges and you will be getting all the ranks through the NIRF website and then you can select a college of your choice based on the rank and the location that you want. Okay. I have also mentioned some colleges in Pune, Nasik and Ratnagiri uh, and plus Mumbai including there are more than 100 pharmacy colleges. So you don't have to worry about uh, getting an admission. Okay. Uh, Singhagad Institute has four campuses in and around Pune. Then we have Pune College of Pharmacy. We have Indira College of Pharmacy, D.Y. Patil, Maharashtra Institute, Bharti Vidyapit, Alana and AIS, AISSMS. These are some colleges in Pune. There is also Modern College. Then we have MVP Samaj. Then we also have the Mahatma Gandhi Vidya Mandir Institute of Pharmacy, KK Vav, Sandeep Institute, MET Bujbal, uh, MET which is also the Bujbal Knowledge City. Uh, then Govindrao Nikam College, Government College of Pharmacy, Ratnagiri, Indira Institute of Pharmacy. Then we also have some other colleges in Pune as well. So, I might have missed out a few colleges certainly uh, because there are a lot of colleges. So I've just randomly listed down some colleges which I am pretty much aware of. All right. So there are a lot of colleges you can get admission in. You don't have to worry. Ideally, my recommendation is even if you have scored less in your CET or your NEET and even if you do not get admission in one of the top colleges for B pharmacy, you don't have to worry as such because uh, I am assuming that many students will consider uh, higher education as MPharm or MBA or a PharmD or anything. So once you are considering higher education, uh, your B Pharmacy college will have very less significance. Okay, like uh, just give, like giving you an example, within two months time or three months time from today, nobody is going to ask you how much did you score in your NEET exam or your CAT exam. So similarly, once you enter into your M farm and once you start get into the industry, very few people are going to ask you which college did you do your bachelor's from. Okay, so even if you are getting an admission in a, not one of the top colleges, as long as you are giving your best effort for your higher education, I am pretty sure you will be sorted. So don't worry even if you have scored less in your uh, CETs or NEETs. What are the higher education career options or what are the possible opportunities? After B Pharmacy, you can consider doing your M Pharm. You can also consider doing your MBA core, which is mostly marketing or finance or even HR. You can consider entering into Pharma MBA. Then there is a Pharm D again, as I have discussed after 12 standard, it is six years, but after B Pharmacy, it is three years. We also have an option to go abroad one to two years depending upon which country you are going to 
we also have diploma courses ranging from six months to one year so there are a lot of diploma courses available as well nowadays there are distance learning courses also across the globe so not only that students apply for distance learning in india they also apply for distance learning in other countries too so a lot of opportunities available for higher education after b pharmacy what are the different types of job opportunities that are available for you guys you can get industry and allied jobs into research and development formulations production regulatory affairs quality control sales and marketing you can get into intellectual property molecular modeling cosmetics there are clinical trials clinical studies as well so you can get into clinical research pharmacovigilance medical writing medical coding some of the major job profiles that are available you can also enter into government jobs become a drug inspector join the fda that is a food and drug administration you can become a food inspector you can join government hospitals for hospital pharmacists you can join state and national pharmacy councils you can also enter into defense what are the other options you can become a counselor you can get into teaching you can start your own business you can start your own medical store or a distribution store you can also start your own pharmaceutical company as well so there are a lot of career options that are available after b pharmacy after m pharmacy or an mba so any student who is entering pharmacy uh, worrying that uh, if i enter pharmacy what will happen will i have a good career or not please do not worry just make sure that you give your best effort and i am very confident that you guys will be able to achieve your desired goals if you are giving your best shot so you don't have to worry whether you are in a good college or not a good college that's that's completely secondary as long as you are giving your best efforts all right and how pharmacad can help you guys uh, during your b pharmacy is that we help students for semester coaching for your b pharmacy or d pharmacy if you have any doubts with respect to your career you can always contact us and we would be happy to help you guys with respect to what subject to choose or how to go ahead with your higher education in india or in abroad we also help with higher studies these are certain entrance exams so don't worry a gpat niper what is it you don't worry so these are certain entrance exams for m pharmacy okay we also help students for going abroad we help them with certificate courses and soft skill development as well you can connect with us on any of these contact details okay that's our website you can email us you can contact us here these are our facebook and instagram or social media handles so you can connect with us anywhere and we would be very happy to help you guys with any doubt you have with respect to b pharmacy or in general pharmacy okay so i hope you guys like this video kindly share this video with your other friends as well so that they can also learn about pharmacy as a career and uh, wish you guys all the very best and i'm pretty sure that you guys will do well in this industry and make it big thank you so much guys take care